Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world. I'm looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. The world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God, and shall we nearing the end of days, and the beginning of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's kingdom, the kingdom of God that will last forever. For several years we've been showing now that we are actually in the biblical end times, the time of the ten horns, which represents all of the different antichrist system, as if Satan is going from ten different individuals, ending up now with Joe Biden, the last part of the beast system, what could be considered part of what's known as the little horn of the Bible, and a great deception going on all across the earth, all the way back to George Bush Sr., and starting with the Panama Canal Zone. The Satan individuals and the beast would like to have the whole world destroyed in a nuclear apocalypse, just like right here. So right there, like the nukes going off. They want everybody to go to what's called number two, like turn to vapor and smoke, the beast from the bottomless pit. The first angels left their first estate and went to number two, which means vapor and smoke. So they're going to just go to their dream realms. They want to destroy Israel and God's ark. They really don't want an actual future or even space travel. In all the scenarios, there is even things on Mars that they don't want anybody to get to, like sleeping quarters and things for people that took a deal from the time when Mars was destroyed by nuclear weapons with the first angels. So then that this Earth represents after that, that the fallen angels have tried to come from actually Mars to try to sneak into the American dream. That they all know that there is an afterlife and a dream, a heaven, and they consistently try to get in. So like they've come here to earth and they want to blow up the world in a nuclear apocalypse like a nuclear rapture and have everybody sneak into the american dream which is jesus set up dream for the world but that dream is supposed to last forever it's, it's supposed to be more dreams and more dreams these guys are called what's called taking one piece one deal like your earth gets blowed up and you get one dream and you go into a computer and you live underground in, in like sleeping quarters which is talked of in several places in the Bible or in your Matrix movie. You all live in there, in virtual reality, through there. See? But Jesus does not let them take this deal. And he, we push through all this. It's the same like getting away from Pharaoh. We don't go to number two, which is falling in the crease. Just like doing sodomy. Just like number two. You know, you're just going poopy. That's what that represents. You don't want to go to number two. You get blowed up. Jesus, they crucified Jesus on the second cross. You can go on and on and on about that. Aaron's two sons went poof when they tried to go to the throne. Moses was killed after he hit the stone two times. He didn't make it into the promised land. And this is what they're after, the ark. So the symbolism plays out in a giant myriad of ways. Because they believe in magic. They are dark smoke spirits. So like this, this image right here, they would use this to try to get through. But there's the Holy Ghost, and this is your bad guy. Now, they like to act like they're Jesus. They will have a character named Michael. They will say they have a Holy Ghost, which act like you're Spider-Man. They will say they're wiping you clean. But they will actually the whole time be putting dirty water on you. It's called the time of muddy water. Like you're getting baptized with dirty water. Yes, that's what it means. And you're getting this dark spirit on you. And he comes around and he's on your TV shows as your hero. See, he's even on TV shows that he's your hero. But we all know that he represents the beast. You know, he's just a character in the shows. See there. Just as here. There he is right there. Trying to destroy the world. Get everyone mad. Here's where they wanted to destroy the world again. Showing Barack and Joe as part of the beast. And Joe is what's called the little horn. The little horn of the Bible. The one that will come after Satan and all of his lying wonders. The man of perdition, the man of sin that will come after Satan with all lying wonders and tricks and deceivableness and trying to go after Israel. His time is short and it's run out. Like basically most of his power is gone now so to, 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 to try to blow up the world through there. Joe wanted 100 days to defeat the plagues. The plagues are winning. The plagues have outlasted them. Two is war. Three, the tree, represents God's wrath. The plagues have been released. Just as if this is the Sphinx, and you have to get past the three pyramids, and the riddle of the Sphinx. There's a giant riddle all across the earth right now, a great deception. So you have to get past him, the Sphinx. Representing getting past him and getting past the three pyramids, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. 
So this symbolism plays in every way, everywhere. This is um, Paradise, California, where there was an actual fire, and right here you can actually see the ark. See the ark? Now remember, the symbolism doesn't stop. It looks just like Luke Skywalker's ship, the X-Wing, which nobody else could lift out of the mud. Nobody else could lift out of the swamp. Only him and Yoda could lift it up. The ark. Right there. And Israel. Remember right here they wanted to kill Israel. See, there's the girl dead. Israel destroyed. Right there. The ark destroyed. Right there. That's what he's trying to do. So we're actually going to see the whole scenario here. This is Paradise, California, where it all burned right after Donald Trump became president. Remember, the symbolism plays out for them. They believe they burned paradise. Now, there's the ark. It actually even has an arrow over here called Joe's, where it was in part of Joe by the tail. And up here is the number 19 for Revelation 19, the wedding of the Lamb, and COVID-19 beginning, which they have not been able to defeat. There is the ark, even with 19, which represents the wedding of the Lamb in the Bible. And that's what they wanted to stop. And they try to empty the souls out. Actually, right over here, it even has the word Pence from Michael Pence's time. See right here, it says Pence. P-E-N-T-Z. And you actually see the big alligator, one of the seven heads and ten horns. Just another one at a time. They each get a certain amount of time, like Donald got his time also. And they try to drag you out of the back of the ark. That's what it says in the Bible. They'll try to drag you out. Just right here, try to drag you out over here. And see how you have no feet? You take a deal to go upstairs, basically. Right there, to go to number two. Right? Which, like, you lose your feet, though. You're part of the beast system now. And you've gone out of the ark. It's just the same picture. Jesus puts all this back together, and they're out of time. We're near a time, actually, when even aliens and fallen angels are going to have to actually be revealed to some people and have to give Jesus everything. It's called Daniel 7. That Jesus has passed all of these different crazy tests with all the plagues to get by the Sphinx and all of their traps and dis and tricks and magical spells that if Jesus messed up, the whole world would have been blown up. Everybody just wouldn't have gone in a nuclear rapture. 50-50. Five would stay, five would go, and you'd all go into your sleep beds. And you'd just sleep forever. And that's it. Jesus has gotten past that. And gotten us past it where he actually is going to have the wedding of the Lamb and we're going to actually start to even populate the stars. And the beast is going to be locked away. Jesus is worthy. The seven last seals are the plagues. If Jesus wasn't worthy, or if the earth wasn't worthy, then Jesus would have done the rapture, and everybody just would go to sleep into their dreams. And instead, Jesus is forgiving every sin on the planet, everybody, and getting rid of the dark spirits. The root of David hath prevailed to open a book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne of the four beasts, in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, on seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth unto all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. That's where we're at now. This is even representing Area 51, where they're blocking everyone and trying to make everyone go to nuclear war. And instead, Jesus has defeated them all in each and every single way. And now we're nearing the day of the Lord when Jesus will take over and marry the whole world through there. So now there's another area which is going to show Joe is what's called the little horn in the Bible. Not the big horn or anything like that. He's what's called the little horn. The last guy starting trouble. And that he will only have a short amount of time and that he would stand against the prince of princes like saying that he was going to defeat the plagues. And the plagues are still going on through there. And so he lost. So we're nearing the day of the Lord now, when Jesus will actually take over the whole planet and save everybody and forgive the whole world. So let's take a look at that, where it's actually showing him mapped out that way. The fallen angels are, they were, those are the aliens and UFO guys. They lost everything when they fell. They thought they were even going to make a deal and somehow, and but instead they lost everything. Like there's a magical door that everybody goes in and you get a big giant dream. When they fell, they found out that they go to that magical door and they get a little tiny dream, like one little, like one trip to Tom Selleck on Hawaii. And they realized that they had made a mistake. And there's no magical way for them to get it back. 
They they won't. Jesus won't talk to them. So they do everything they can to try to steal your spot and get in your door. And it doesn't work. Over and over again, it just doesn't work. They will even blow up the world to try to get in. And it doesn't work. Either way, there is little Joe. They want to consistently kill the world with ass. So every single thing will come down to us in the craziest ways. Corn. That actually means sodomy many times. When you're just eating corn. Land, right here, glass making. See, they wanted, little Joe wanted everyone to go down by sodomy. The nine elephants represents part of the ten. Because there are nine of them, but one of them gets replaced over and over and over again. Like there's nine, and then Joe would get time. Then there's nine, and then t Donald Trump would get some time. And then Barack Obama would get time on a team. Each one. They have a very big thing about like that they wanted, well, they want to destroy the world. So they look at things in more of a world way. Like there are over a billion Asians. And they consider the Asians very good looking and also very rich. See how they're after the Asians. That doesn't mean to fusion them to get along. Fusion means nuclear fusion. See, they want to kill all the Asians. They believe the Asians will rise up over them. That when Jesus comes, Jesus will make friends with the Asians and Israel. And they will all begin to populate the stars. The little demon inside of America doesn't want that. Again, doesn't want anybody to end up getting to Mars or anywhere. So there, the Asians have the capability with Israel to, to really do a giant space program, over a billion strong, and not poor like America. Well, and America will be forgiven too, and there's going to be a giant whole world together, and everybody will populate the stars. It's just going to happen. See, there then nobody got killed by ass. Jesus is forgiven to everybody. Sodom and Gomorrah is going to be forgiven. Now, that does not stop with their symbolism. Atlas. Atlas represents Jesus holding the world together. They want to give Jesus a brick. Well, that's a tombstone. Their symbol is a stop. Remember, it's like a vision board. So now they want to put the rock in the museum. Jesus is dead. If you go to the UPS store, it's called going brown. Just like you go to the black family, which means you're number two. See, now you go to the up store, U turn. Evergreen, the Green New Deal. This is part of their alien stuff here called the big, big Ink Tattoo, or what's called the Black Goo. If you know your basics of the Prometheus movies, the Alien Black Goo, which is something they will give you and then blow up the world. And hoping that this ink will get you through to like a clone, and a clone bed. Literally, that like you would end up in an alien spaceship inside of a clone and you would just sleep in there. The ink would get you through, called the Black Ink, through there. See, and again with the corn, right there. Denison is one of the names of Satan. His name comes back to even Benson, just like Benson the butler. Yes, or Ben, Ben Carson, any Batman who actually ends up representing darkness. See, Denison, Benson, all that it just does not stop with the symbol and like a big reading. See, right, Denison? All the way. And showing Jesus' death, Jesus' fall, Everything by glass and little Joe having his tower, one in the tower, which comes back to the wicked tenants. When God built the earth and then left and leased it out, he built the earth, he dug a pit, and he made a tower and a mill and a press. And he left it to the ten, to the ten husbandmen of the one woman. And they went wicked and tried to destroy the inheritance and had a tower right there called the wicked ten, part of the ten which is the Wicked Tenant Prophecy. So there's only really nine, but they just replaced the last guy. Like, there's nine guys, and they say, one of you can come play for a while, and you're on the team. Then they kill you and send you into your dream. Then they get Joe. Then he kill him and send him into the dream. Then they get the next guy. You see how they even wanted to get rid of the Asians? They're very scared of the Asians, the Dark Spirit, Legion. He's only really in the USA, not around the world. Here, and in the British family, and then in the Vatican. He can cover all of the USA, but the demon powers can't really cover all the world. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. So Jesus has defeated all of them and is going to spare the world from all of this. And these people, the dark spirit, will be leaving soon through there. And then everything will be revealed. God will actually be with all of us in the kingdom of God. And all the sins will be forgiven, and the dark spirits that make people go crazy will be gone. That's Revelation 20, where they're all locked up through there, and they're, they're all locked away. All the dark spirits that drive everybody crazy. May God help us all, and everybody keep faith for the wedding feast of the Lamb. 
Hallelujah.